Sheriff John Brown has a bone to pick with him. He gets out of prison, and Sheriff John Brown pulls a gun on him to shoot him. So he shoots him. And then, of course, they frame him for killing somebody else. So the whole story is about corruption. He's saying, no, I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the deputy. Well, if I'm innocent and somebody pulls a gun with the intent to kill me, I'm going to defend myself. I don't care who they are. But that's a justified defense. That's not shooting a cop, pumping gas. A Dr. Edward Group, good friend of mine, one of the top supplement formulators in the country as well, uh, joins us for the next hour and a half. We'll have open phones in the next hour for Ask Dr. Group. We'll also cover the waterfront with him. For two months, it's been sold out. Uh, he wanted me to order a whole bunch. It took him years to formulate it. And I was like, no, we don't need that many bottles. Okay, you say it's the greatest cleanse ever, and it'll just pull all this stuff out of the body, and it can be integrated in uh, with apple cider vinegar and other things. And then I guess the foodies and the supplement experts looked at it, and they went, oh, my gosh, this is a game changer. It sold out in three days. We've never had a new product sold out in three days. They sold out in a week before. And it took two-plus months to get it in, and unfortunately, he's expanded his factories his laboratories, but the standards are so high, it's another limited run. But but more is coming what, in like two, three weeks. Uh, so if you want to get deep cleanse, in fact, I forgot to ask Anthony for some of the reviews. Those have poured in. It's got a, a what a 4.8 on average of, of, of total five. Unprecedented by power reviews, deep cleanse. Now, he didn't come here to talk about deep cleanse. We had him coming in and set up a week ago. But he's here now. And we really appreciate uh, Dr. Edward Group uh, coming in. So we're going to get into what is the ultimate threat even beyond GMO, beyond pesticides, herbicides. And when he brought this up to me about a week ago, I said, absolutely. I, I see that here and there in medical journals and scientific journals and the news. And it's so creepy. So we're going to be breaking down the number one threat beyond GMO that they're pretty much you know, focusing on only we're having some victories on, they've already moved on. It's kind of like Planned Parenthood new videos out today that we played last hour where they go, you know what we did? We got them to think they were banning, you know, selling baby parts, but really we said embryonic. Well, that's only a few weeks. That's tiny. Then we can sell all the babies because we call them fetuses. But once they're born, we can't. Once they're delivered, they're called a baby. They talk about, you know, trying to keep them, you know, up against mom while they get the organs and stuff because then they have rights once they're not touching mom. That's the federal law. So it's all very, very macabre. New Planned Parenthood video. Sometimes intact fetuses just fell out and uh, they didn't get sent to the uh, infirmary to, with the preemies. They got sent to Mingala. So how about all lives matter? While these total innocents, per capita black people, you're not hearing one word about that from Black Lives Matter because they're Democrat run. They're George Soros run. They want blacks absolutely hated. Only friend they got is the Democrat system and welfare. With everybody else scared. And they're giving them the horrible curse now of winding up some stupid black people to go out and kill white people. And then stupid white people are going to go out and kill them. And then they get to have a civil emergency. The average cop isn't part of this, but the police need to speak out before this unfolds. So we're going to briefly break down before we get into the news, why deep cleanse is so important at InfoWarsLife.com. With Dr. Group, then we're getting into the big enchilada here that so many people are tuning in to hear about today. I just saw massive activity even on Facebook today about you and this announcement and you telling your listeners and people and your supporters that, that you'd be really revealing some big stuff that's, that's hiding in plain view but nevertheless hasn't gotten the attention it needs. But first, you were a former Army Special Operations guy yourself before you went off and got your different degrees. Uh, and decided to fight the medical tyranny. Uh, but just as an American, as a patriot, as I know a guy that I'd call classical liberal that loves everybody, do you agree or disagree with me that they're trying to orchestrate an all-out race war? I mean, I knew they were doing it, but it's one thing to know it. It looks like they've pretty much ignited it now, and I can just see mentally ill, upset, uh, right-wing white people loading their weapons right now. I guarantee you, it's they're loading them up right now and planning to strike back. And when they go out and kill a bunch of black people, and I think it's going to be just historically very vicious uh, because culturally, generally, Anglo-Saxon culture doesn't strike out a lot. If it does, it's usually sustained, vicious, and ongoing. That's just well-known, even in criminology. 
I'm really concerned. Do not engage in violence. Do not strike back, even at the thugs, the racist thugs that are calling to kill white people. Do not, and police, do not be part of it. Anyways, I think I just answered my question. You said a year ago you had a bad feeling. Six months ago you said it was over the top. Me too. Everybody else feels it. Economic meltdown's begun. Race war's begun. They're destabilizing other countries, playing groups off against each other, whatever the cultural differences are. Are we really dumb enough to do this, and are we reaching this critical moment? I think we've already passed into the event horizon. I think we're inside the meltdown. Uh, what does the doctor group think? Just from your military background, your cultural background, what do you think about the point we've reached? Well, uh, I agree with you. I think we've reached a critical point in time right now, not only with health care, oil and gas, resources, geoengineering, race wars being generated, negative media, creation of fear. Um, I mean, it's just all culminating right now. It's, it's just fear-based, you know, end-of-the-world stuff, which really reduces the immune system by 50%. And if you look at the, if, I kind of look at the effects of all this stuff. How is this, all of this stuff combined, how is that going to affect the individual person? Or how is that going to affect society as a whole? And what we're seeing now is we're seeing everybody walking around in a state of fear. People are confused. People don't know what's going on. They're seeing the stock market go up and then all of a sudden crash, down again and then up again. And it's artificially inflated. You know, these are some times I think that if you pay attention to what's going on in the world and if you pay attention to what's going on in all the factions, which are the pharmaceutical companies, the uh, news media, the presidential elections, the race wars, all this stuff. I, I mean, personally, to me, is there's a lot of diversions going on, and that means that something usually is brewing up. They don't Even bigger. Out. Yeah, probably war with Russia or something along those lines or huge tectonic events. They admit the whole Pacific Rim is about to go up. Uh, but, but here's the deal. We are in a time of massive change. The globalists know that. So we're not creating fear. We're explaining to people what's behind it so they can get prepared and understand. Right, exactly. That's that's our purpose. You have to, in order to come up with solutions to these things and to not be in fear, you have to be comfortable and you have to understand what's going on. I, I feel sorry for all the people that watch MSNBC and Fox News and, and CNN out there that are just hearing this diversion information out there, the non-truth, but I also feel really good and blessed to be part of coming on here and sharing information with all, the, all of your followers. We're blessed to have you as well. That they know the truth, and we're giving them solutions to not only change the way they think, the way they feel, but also giving them real-time solutions on what to look out for and giving them warnings to what not to pay attention to. What do you think this next big shooter drop is going to be? Because all Hades is breaking loose on every front. No, I mean, most of the world's in depression and warfare and just crazy town. The government's digging in, gearing up. What do you think it is? <sighs> I, I really don't know what it is uh, because I'm keeping myself, trying to keep myself really calm, eating healthy. I'm trying to meditate a lot more, spend time in prayer. I, uh, I don't know. It's almost like whatever's going to happen is going to happen. I know there's a lot of good forces at work. There's also a lot of negative forces at work. I think that we're definitely going to see things that we've never seen before. The Pope's That's endorsing true. abortion, basically. Yeah, I mean, it's just one thing after another. Every single day, there's something that comes out now that you just cannot believe is on the news or you cannot believe is happening. At the same time, I think people are waking up. Uh, it's, I mean, if I, I wish I knew what was going to happen. Wait, well, how, exactly. How bold is it, though, to have the White House and George Soros openly fund groups saying go out and murder white people and police? I mean, that is so criminal. And, and, and I, I just can't believe they're that bold. What... Uh, yeah, I mean, right now it's just like let's just put, let's just tell everybody what we're going to do, and they're they're getting bolder and bolder and bolder because nobody's doing anything about it. You know, we are making some progress uh, on a lot of different fronts, but it, uh, on but still, they're on top, running the show at the top. So it's almost like we're awake, but we just know we're slaves now. Right, either that or they know what's coming and all the underground bunkers, and they're you know making preparations.
I got a big article out of RT about the Hadron Collider with even Hawking admitting it's dangerous. That's right. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just what I mean. Just everything seems to be activating right now. You can feel it. You can see it. And all I want to do is try to have peace and have people live in peace and have prosperity. But there is a force. Uh, uh, evil's activating is what's happening. Evil's making its move. That's the big event. I, I mean, I think behind all of this, evil's making its move because it knows the awakening's happening. That's right. And that just really just came out of my heart right there. I, I got, I was beyond chills. I was like on fire when I said that. But that's it. I know. That's it. That's exactly what it is. The awakening is happening. And so and the evil is making its move. And evil's making its move. I mean, we talked about it last time. I mean, this is serious stuff in CERN with this collider. I mean, we're talking about opening up another dimensional. We're talking about opening a portal. That's in RT. Stephen Hawking says it will yeah. open another portal. And we don't know what's in the other dimension. That's right. We could just... A lot of them think it could cause chain reaction explosions. Just it, it'll be like right. antimatter. Mm -hmm. They open a portal to antimatter, which is a lot of physicists think. It's a chain reaction. Well, they're trying to disprove the Big Bang Theory. They're creating the God particle. So, I mean, <laughs> if they're saying that a, the God particle created the Big Bang, then there's a possibility of when they fire up the reactor that it could create major explosions it's the biggest machine in the world but meanwhile let's just kill each other over skin color that that's what really matters i mean i, I want to grab these black lives matter people and slap them in the face and say do you understand that they're targeting black people for extermination via abortion why don't you go say something about that you little scumbag but they won't do that because they're democrat run I, i'm sorry for ranting i, I want to get into more of the madness, the biggest current threat that we know is going on in our food, in our water, and in also packaging, because it's everywhere. It's something we haven't covered enough. I've been aware of it. I've mentioned it some, but, the, but we're going to do a detailed breakdown of this for about 20 minutes to the next hour and then take your calls, questions for Dr. Group. But before we do that, let's do a plug for Deep Cleanse. You did a great one last time you were here. Sold out, like I said, in less than, it was about two and a half days. Uh, I've done the Deep Cleanse. Uh, even more stuff came out of my skin. Uh, just so healthy, so much energy. Uh, tell folks what's in Deep Cleanse and why it's so important and what it does. The latest product at InfoWarsLife.com. It's back in stock, folks. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, it's been a long time in the making. And we talk about the contamination of toxins coming in the body on a regular basis. And today... We're going to be talking about nanotechnology and nanomaterials, basically engineering nanomaterials. And there's not too it's already in the food. Ways. It's already in the food. And I, I tell you, this was brought to my attention. I've known about it, too, for a while, but I didn't know the scale of what's been going on because there's really not a lot of information out there on it and there's absolutely zero regulations. And I feel after doing the research that I've done over the past couple weeks that G the whole GMO labeling issue is great. We've came to we've come together on that, but at the same time, I think that you know all the attention has been brought on the GMO issue, and people are not don't even know about the engineering nanoparticle technology that's being used in foods, and that's why Deep Cleanse also is so important because. There's not too many things that can eliminate or grab nanoparticles. And when we talk about uh, some of these... Sources, we're talking about packaging that's, you know, in the Oreo cookies. We just showed a news article where, where it's artificially created matter is being put into the flavoring, the packaging to keep it static free. I mean, there's no telling. Notice allergies are exploding. And it's because of stuff like this. That's right. You, if anyone remembers Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, this is another prime example of them introducing something before it comes out. Well, Willy Wonka had all these specialty foods. He even had that magic gum where you eat and all of a sudden you have a tomato soup in your mouth and then you have roast beef in your mouth and it goes through ice cream and blueberry pie and the little girl ate it and she turned into this, you know, this big blueberry. And he says that's a side so effect. That is, basically, they introduced this nano food technology back in the Willy Wonka days. So this that's exactly what this is designed to do. To And not only that, Kraft Foods has been working with nano food engineering to where it's activated with a microwave pulse machine. So in other words, you're going to eat something or activate it with a microwave pulse, and it can take you through flavor profiles. Or, and even they're working on drinks right now to where you get a clear liquid and you can pretty much decide what flavor and what color. You and people will say, oh, I love this gum. It lasts for five hours. Yes, but it's totally artificial. 
Right. That's why they got aspartame to every major gum line out there because, yeah, it lasts for 20 minutes instead of 30 seconds, but it's totally toxic. It's programmable food when you take the, the basic structure, 